Okay. Um, I thank you um, guys for this um, ESL online again. And But today is Saturday and it's a very special thing. Saturday the 30th. And um, before we start, I'm going to uh, pray. And I'd like everybody to try to close your eyes and it's not going to be too long, but it's just going to be, you know, as short as possible. So thank you, God, for this opportunity that you give us again. You give us technology. You give us a friend from the United States. And you give us um, some of the participants in Haiti. And thank you for, um, you know, we wake up and um, some of us had nightmares and some had, you know, sweet dream. But however, we woke up anyway. We thank you. Um, for every opportunity that you are going to give us during this day. And for all the people who are going to uh, watch this video um, after we record it. And we thank you for um, the world, even though troubled, but you know, you're still in control. You are God Almighty. You are in control of Haiti. You are in control of all the country around the world and the whole universe. No man will be able to destroy it. Thank, thank you, Lord. We trust you always, and then we will always trust you. And give us our, uh, our give us our daily bread, and then help us forgive those who have trespassed against us. So please, Lord, thank you for your your grace for everything. Thank you for Dr. Charles. Thank you for for myself. Thank you for the family. Thank you for the friends. Thank you for people all around the world who would like to learn English. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you. That was a nice prayer. Awesome. Right. I can't, so, I can't, I can't see myself, though. <laughs> right. Oh, you can't see yourself on the screen? No, I don't see me. I see you talking, and I okay. see your, your filter backdrop that's only partly there. But I see you. That's fine. I see you. Can you see okay. me drinking my Yeah, drink? I see you with a with a cup trying to drink something. Okay. All right. Try so and me... fix it so that you can see the cup. Yes, I or see so that I cup. can see the... I see the whole picture of you. I see you. Right. Now why can't I see you? Um you can't see me. I can I can see you talking, but I can't see me. Okay. That's because um, I share the screen. You probably you probably on the side. Do you see the share screen um, on the whole text on the whole uh, uh, on the the whole picture, like the whole okay. speech? Do on you my, see it on my screen? In the upper right hand corner, I see your face with the red and shirt and the white border. In the middle of my screen, I see that I have a dream speech signed by Loretta Scott King in her, her handwriting at the bottom. Okay. That's but I don't see, I don't see my face or my lips moving. Okay. And it's important if, if we teach English, the student needs to see our lips moving and how we construct our mouth when we say some of the words Otherwise, okay. they otherwise they won't see how to make the diphthongs, and it'll it'll will lose some of the face to face ability. Yes, it will work as soon as I just uh, take away the the share screen, uh, because the share the share screen takes all the all the screen, so that's why you may not see yourself. So let me read the speech. And then after that, I will just uh, take it away, and then we will discuss about it, and you will see yourself moving your lap. Okay? That's fine. Okay. All right. Um, this speech um, was written by uh, Martin Luther King himself. So it is called, I Have a Dream. And according to what was said, this was his, probably his last speech. Um, before his assassination. Um, it's going to start like this. I'm not going to go too fast. I'm going to go slowly, but a little bit fast, not too much. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and leave out 
the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day, even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression will be transformed into or an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious wishes with its governor having um, his lips dripping with the words of, impre of, in, of in, um, interposition and mold multification that uh, one day- Nullification. They, oh, no. nullification, that's great, mm -hmm. yes, I did see that. Nullification that one day, right down in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. So that was a great one. So I got I got confused in the nullification. Maybe um, I don't have my glasses, so that's why. <laughs> right, yeah. You, you, you actually read that very nicely. And um, you had one other word that you didn't quite get perfect. I can't remember what it was right now. Is it inter interposition uh, or sweltering? No, you said those are right. Let's see. Sweltering, I see that. Uh, injustice, you did that one okay. And um, <clears throat> vicious, vicious racists. Is that Where the one? That? Yeah, let's see. Hold on, let me find that. It's like vicious. It, it's vicious the last racist. paragraph. First sentence. Vicious, say vicious racists. Let me hear you say vicious that. racists. Vicious racists. Uh, you said that okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. So, um, what about Orazis? It's Orazis, correct? Is Orazis correct? Arises. Arises. Yes, I. I mean, I'm just wondering. You said there might be some other word that I'm. I miss. I mean, I didn't pronounce very well. So is that um arises? Arises. Uh, we got an hotel in Haiti that is called Arises. Oasis. It's up oh, in racist. <clears throat> it's a nice or place. Where where is the word in the in the Okay, let me look for it that you're trying to say. Um I think it's Orazis. 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 It's O A S I S. Um actually I don't see it yet. No, I no. Don't... It's not in his speech. <clears throat> well is it, in... is it it's not in it his speech. Is... I think it is because I remember um, I pronounced it. And um, well, anyway, I will oh, see. Oh, I see it. It's at the end, last line of the third paragraph. Okay, let last line that, of the third. Let me read that. Okay. With the heat of oppression will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. Say the word oasis. 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 That's yeah. Oasis is, is like in the middle of the desert. There's no water except in one place where you have a little spring and you have some palm trees growing around it and people live there and it's called an oasis. Right, I was muted because there was um, some kind of noise um, with um, some neighbor 
um, you know, going to the probably the marketplace because today is Saturday. And then on Saturday, um, we got marketplace here open um, every Saturday and Wednesday. Um, all the um, people coming from the top of the mountain, they go down to the to town to bring their harvest and then um, to sell it, to, to sell it as goods. And then, you know, they come early, they wake up up and then sometimes they talk a lot too and pass by with a radio and making a lot of noise sometimes it's the news early in the morning. i didn't hear any yeah well okay that was great so maybe um this conversation was um let's say that <laughs> the sound was filtered or protected by some means right you said I didn't hear oasis. Anything bad. you said I think... oasis right you said oasis or oasis sorry Oasis. Oasis. Just yes. say it a couple of times. Oasis. Oasis. Okay. Oasis. Oasis. I got it. Oasis. Yes, you said that it is a, a in a desert, for example, and then you will find an oasis for um because if you find an only place that's got water for people to drink, that is the oasis. Correct. That's awesome. So it's mm -hmm. one paradise in the middle of hell. <laughs> just a little or a, just a little sparkling of paradise in the middle of of hell right okay so it's oasis oasis that's a nice word uh, you know we we were introduced this word um by some um businessman in 80 um it was right there in the dictionary but um we would learn it at school for you know a long time ago while, while we're doing while we were doing um, 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 French literature. Um, but recently, like maybe five or, um, you know, 10 years ago, some guys brought a business in a hotel where they would receive um, tourists coming from abroad um, that they would say that 80 is open for business. And then they had in the mind um, to call this Hotel Horizons. It's right there after you uh, finish to uh, the last point of, of um, yeah, it's, it's around, it's, it's around a church um, and also a good restaurant. It's at an intersection on the left side when you come in from a place, right? I don't remember this place anymore, but anyway, it's, a, it's located in, in Petroville PV80. All right. So, um, let's try to do this in 10 minutes. We are not going to take too long. Uh, and we did the, the most part of it. We read it and we had some pronunciation. So what can you say about Martin Luther King Jr.? Why do they call him Martin Luther King Jr.? Well, he was a preacher. And his father was also a preacher. And they had the same name. So the... Then he was called Junior, and it was legal name. So then everybody knew that it wasn't his father, it was him, because they had the same name. It's not unusual in the United States to be named with the same name as your father. And, uh, of course, in this case, you, you have to remember that Martin Luther was the German theologian who, who lived in Germany under the domination of the Roman Catholic Church. So Martin Luther thought the church had become corrupt. And so he, he left the church. He... Uh, married he had children and he was a <clears throat> reformer <clears throat> in fact he was probably the most famous of the reformationists so he he, he wrote down the things that he, he saw were wrong with the catholic church he, he he believed that the catholic church sold indulgences which meant <clears throat> that if if you murdered your your neighbor and in, in, instead of going to hell for murder you can pay for forgiveness paid, 
<laughs> you gave money to the Pope. Right. And the Pope forgave you, and then you didn't have to worry about killing your neighbor. Okay. That makes well, that that's called an indulgence. And then and, and Martin Luther in Germany was opposed to that. And and so in in the United States, um, slaves often took the names of people they respected. Okay. So here's this guy named King, and he names his son Martin Luther. So the kid is now Martin Luther King, and and Martin Luther King names his son Martin Luther King, but he main he adds on Junior so that everybody knows it's not the old man, it's the young guy. Okay, so is this is a biography that you just made about Martin Luther King Jr. from his uh, grandfather to his father and himself? It's just his father to him. I don't know. I don't know what the name of Martin Luther King's grandfather is. Okay, that I have makes no sense. idea. Yes. Okay. So, um, I heard that too when I was at school. Um, that Martin Luther, um, that German um priest that um turned his back um to the Catholic Church, and um you know that 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 story became very captivating to me while I was pretty young. And, you know, in 80, I was raised Catholic and I was, I spent my whole life, I even got my first communion. Uh, my grandmother was Catholic. My mom was Catholic. You know, the whole country um, was Catholic. So um, it was just once um, I just, when I became adult and then I just uh, wanted to experience like in my twenties, of the Christian church. So I experienced it and I started appreciating it. So um, this thing is not about me, my bi my biography. So let's keep talking about, um, you know, uh, we don't have a lot of time. So we need to say something kind of concrete before we end this video um, about Martin Luther King uh, Jr. Um, what he could have ever uh, realized um, through his uh, struggle against segregation that, um, that let's say, made um, the Black people in the United States having a different point of view and also some of the right people um, in living together, the meaning, the sense. And Martin Luther King Jr. had a lot of white people with him. So let's talk about this and conclude. Well, this problem really goes back to 1776. That was when the Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. And <clears throat> there was a huge dispute amongst the men who went to the Continental Congress about slavery and the relationship between the people in the United States who owned slaves and the people who did not own slaves. <clears throat> in the original Declaration of Independence, there was a statement against slavery, okay? <clears throat> but for economic reasons, and for political and sociological reasons, the delegates from the South to the Continental Congress refused to have that in the Declaration of Independence. They, they didn't disagree that it wasn't true. They just would not accept it at that time and <clears throat> so it was removed from the Declaration of Independence. Well, Jefferson and Franklin told them that it was like, <clears throat> it was like an evil that you carried in your suitcase and you can't escape it and and but Franklin told Jefferson, he said, we can't escape England 
without the help from the people from the South. So we have to remove the slavery comments from the Declaration of Independence or else we'll never get freedom from England. And he says, we'll deal with the slavery afterward. Well, that's what Jefferson was forced to accept. And the result was <clears throat> 90 years later in 1860, uh, the American Civil War occurred because the people who didn't support okay. slavery had a fight with the people in the South All who right. still had slaves. Okay. It was a long time. This was a slavery was a was a multi-century okay. issue in this right. country. Right, and you know, um, do you hear me? Yes, this is very of uh, this is a very fruitful conversation, and then we will, um, you know, keep, you know, coming with it again, and uh, because we don't have time, we count in seconds, and then I think you okay, once you again, and then I will hold, share. Hold up your picture of the neck. Okay, uh, it's it's there, it's there, um, and then. Uh, I will probably call you at seven, maybe, we don't know, but we'll keep talking about this again, about that, uh, because we like story and it will be very fruitful for the students of ESL, okay? Thank you very much, and we'll keep in touch, doctor. Stay All safe right. in misery, okay? I never Bye. could see myself. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.